It's a way of thinking through the probability of extraterrestrial life that was devised by astronomer Frank Drake in the early 1960s. Frank Drake was the first one to actually point a radio telescope elsewhere from Earth and start to listen to see if he can find alien signals. And to help think through the probability of finding those signals, he came up with this really pretty simple equation. N is the number of communicating civilizations out there. R, that's just the rate of star formation in the galaxy. F sub P, the probability of planet formation around those stars. N sub E, the number of habitable planets per star. F sub L, the fraction of planets that have an origin of life. F sub I is getting into more speculative territory. That's the fraction of planets with life where intelligent life evolves. And of course, we only have one example. It's Earth. And then F sub C is even more speculative. That's the fraction of planets with intelligent life that have communicating civilizations that are sending or possibly receiving messages, finally multiplied by L, or the average longevity of communicating civilizations. If communicating civilizations don't last long, perhaps because they do themselves in through nuclear war or climate change or some other process, then the numbers suggest that civilizations that we could communicate with are probably very rare and might be hard to find out there. On the other hand, if L is long, because some civilizations can last a very long time, they solve their problems, they learn how to live sustainably on a planet, then the math works out that there should be lots of civilizations out there that we can find. So the numbers vary widely depending on how you estimate some of these unknown factors. But some of these factors we do now know pretty well. We know the star formation rate in the galaxy, and importantly, we've recently discovered that planets are very very, very common. That tells us that as long as the origin of life is not super, super rare, there must be lots and lots of planets out there with life.